Hello my friends, this is Gladys from Gladys Garden, Heart of a Gypsy. Thanks for stopping by my channel. And not too long ago, a few hours ago, I had put out a video uh, doing a small little test for my um, camera, the way it was turned around with the, dif the different um, angle. Hold on a second, I'm going to move my camera there a little bit. There, there. And um, it's too early to check anything back yet. I decided to want to go ahead and uh, uh, continue with the, well, you know, this mini tutorial, and it's going to be such a mini that you wouldn't even know it, uh, you know, in comparison to my, my things that I do. Um, <clears throat> I have shown you last time uh, how I have created it. Basically, is utilizing a bunch of, of your leftovers of chipboard. This happens to be heavy chipboard or the thickest that they have in the market for, I'm sorry, for, um, you know, in the craft um, industry. The biggest piece that I have here measures, let's see, so I say it is a six, six by five. That's the biggest piece that I have. And then after that, after that, I just scaled them down. Uh, I didn't have a pattern, none whatsoever. The only thing that uh, matters, you know, when you're putting this ones together, is that they all connect one way or another. I mean, not all of them are going to connect with each one, but you don't want to leave a piece that is completely hanging just with one, to one area. They have to connect to two. That's what I meant to say before. So they must connect to two items, and it's you know because if you don't do that, it kind of it becomes um, very weak, and it's easier uh, to injure the piece or to destroy you know to fall apart. So what I did, once I had my pieces, I just got a bunch of them, and some that were too big. It, the problem you're going to run, um, run into this is more big than small, actually, because it's almost like a jigsaw puzzle. You're trying to fit, uh, fit uh, the pieces, but without trying so hard, either. So once I have figured out my layout, right the way I put it on my mat, I start and, and grab... Um, pieces of my um, score tape and I would just wherever they met like for instance this one has you know I already put the reinforcement on top but before that I just had a little bit of a tape in there okay that's all I did and um, once I had all the pieces just together with that piece of um, score tape then I flip it over and I started working on it and you may think, well, how is that going to stay? That's too uh, flimsy. Well, it does stay because, you know, you're not tugging and doing all this at all. So let me show you the paper I use. I basically use old pages from an old dictionary. And let me show you. This is a Webster, Webster's Dictionary, old school. And I've been using those pages for a long time. So I just tore, I think I got like... I don't know, maybe 10 pages altogether, or, or give or take, you know, and I just tore them in pieces, made my little pile, and um, once I have my little pile, I grab my mud brush, and just a brush, medium-sized brush, and I started decoupaging really fast, and then adding the paper, I mean, you all know how to do that, I don't have to show you, and I don't feel, I, um, you know, nobody should feel patronized by thinking that I, I'm showing you that because I'm not. Everyone has decoupage before. And if you haven't, it's quite easy. The first pieces, that's when you go, oh, yeah, well, that's easy. So anyhow, so I put it everywhere. And I was not careful. I covered everything, okay? Uh, it wasn't until later on that I cut the pieces out because it's just too hard to be careful with those. I just decoupaged the whole thing. Then, once it was decoupaged, and while it's still a little cool, or um, not cool, but wet, I drop a few drops, you know, randomly of the alcohol inks, different colors, not a lot of them, and then a little bit of the alcohol mixture too, just so it'll spread a little bit more. And at that point, you know, I started drying. You can let it dry on its own. I speed it up because I just wanted to, but I use my heat gun and speed up the process of drying and once it was completely dry or it wasn't totally completely dry but I started cutting all the edges first okay so I went around 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 cutting them all once I cut all those I flipped them out 
or flipped my uh, uh, frame out and um, I use my um, any cutting board you know that you can cut this is one of uh, I think is a Fiskars yeah I use that and with my any exacto knife I use my Prima just because I love that one uh, right here and I started cutting all around it the pieces are dry and they come out really easy okay so once I cut out the whole thing then I flipped it one more time then I put um, what is this one called saddle brown stays on okay so it was already distressed but I used a lot uh, it just went over it like this to create that uh, particular color and then I used I think it was a blue mist um, and this is from perfect pearls so it doesn't give you a lot of color it just has a little bit of shimmer which I don't even think it's going to make a lot of difference it didn't show up that much but that's what I did once that was completely dry then I uh, went ahead and used it has to be this is a um, oh my, a sanding block okay so it has to be a block because this is this is what you're going to do you're going to go in the, the, the little group right there and start doing that okay and yeah that takes care of all those corners like that and for the inside I use just about any um, let's see let me see if I can bring those little tools I use this but not if I didn't use them as much let me see and these are from uh, basic gray and I've had them for a long long time I hope they still make them but I do like them there it's a bunch of little files different sizes so I use those to to the for the inside parts okay uh, but wherever I could still put or use my um, my sanding block I would do it uh, I did not use my Tim Holtz for this one because I wanted those sharp edges because of the squareness of some of these pieces so that's the reason and uh, once the whole thing was nice and cleaned from every any extra paper there and it was dry I added one more coat of decoupage or you can use uh, matte medium or gla uh, gloss uh, medium from Claudine Hellman. Either one would work. I've already had decoupage because I've had it for a long time and it needs to be used. I don't really buy it anymore. It's a great product, but I, I still like, I am partial to the matte medium by um, Claudine Hellman. So that's where you saw the last video. That's where I had stopped. And so I had turned it, you know, my product or my frame over and then I decided just to do sort of a stain color in the back uh, but before that before I forget that I cut a bunch of other little pieces of the same type of heavy chipboard enough for me to unite the two pieces where I had the you know the my um, score uh, tape but on top of that I added hot glue on it and I already had the the you know the tape exposed there and I just added to that so on every um, you know in every in every encounter of uh, two pieces of chi uh, or two pieces of chipboard got united that's where I put that but make sure it's not big enough that you can see it on the other side if I turn it over you won't be able to see it it, it looks quite nice and clean so that's where we are at let me go and check on my um, some things that I need to take care of and I'll be right back to continue the video okay see you in just a bit alright my friends I just finished uploading my first video uh, it just takes a while to load up but anyways uh, let's continue uh, with uh, my collage frame um, picture frames whatever alright so I like to add some of my um, Inca Gold paste to this. I don't know what colors I want, so I'm gonna open. I'm gonna open every one I have, and then go from there. Um, some of mine are really old and dry, but there's a remedy to that. Just spray some water in them, and they work. Oh, sorry. I mean, look at this. But, you know, this still works really well. Look at that. So, not throwing that puppy away. And, 
I am going to spray just a tiny bit of water there. And that was um, lavender hydrosol. Um, that's one of my cleaners because I don't, um, I'm so allergic to so many chemicals, you know, that that's why in this industry it's very important for me to use products that are um, earth friendly or environment friendly because then they will be friendly to me. Okay, so I'm thinking that, um, as you can tell, this is the one that I've used the most, Platinum. It just goes really well with a lot of things. And I am just going to, I think I spray some water in here. I'm just going to start applying it different places. I don't have a pattern, you know, whatsoever. And, and see where we go from there. We're just going to work some of this nice metallic looks into it and um, we'll see what turns out I have no idea how whether this is going to be one of those treasured or trash at the end of the day <laughs> and I do a lot of things like that sometimes I have this idea that pops into my head and I go yes I can't wait to get to my desk and start you know putting it to practice and then once I start I go ew <laughs> not not going to work all right let's see I like green as you can tell I'm gonna switch to the orange right here or and that's orange because this is the copper okay so this is orange copper I'm gonna see how and I think this orange is a little too much on the orangey. I don't want it totally covered either because I want the the newspaper print to not newspaper, but you know my the papers that I use to collage the frames to kind of show, obviously to a point, and see how that works. And right now, basically what I'm doing is just kind of putting it around those little um, orifices uh, or holes within the canvas to kind of highlight those areas and also the edges, obviously. We definitely want to do that. And we may have to tone it down, I don't know. Right now I'm just going to apply it. What, what's the beauty about this product is that um, the Inca Gold Paste is that um, you know if um, if okay let's just say oh I didn't like that at all that's horrible look what happens just put a little bit of water and look it's already out it's clean so see it's I, I like that now once they kind of cement in there they kind of do you know you can't totally erase them um, but they're I really do like them you know I love I love the look and they're um, environmentally clean for me, can handle them. I also love the, oh, what are the other ones that we used to use before we had this? The um, rub and buff, and I still do, and I still use them, but they're just so hard, harsh on me with my chemical sensitivity disorder that I, um, I try to limit my exposure to them. It's like having, um, you know, I don't know, rubber paint on you or something. I don't, I don't know. You know, the people that get hooked on um, smelling paint and things like that. I'm like, wow. How can you do that? But they do. All right, so let me close this one. And then I have this darker one here. And this is, um, I don't know what it's called. This one is called, well, this one doesn't have any name. Whatever. It probably does. I just can't. I, I can't see it. It's almost like a pewter. And I'm gonna go around this edges here because oh, no, I don't think I'm gonna like that. Yeah, no. It's turning. It's turning a little too, um, too dark for my taste in there, and um, that's not what I was looking. It, extremely metally, but without without being pretty. Okay, let's try this other one, this pure gold, to kind of counteract that effect right there. Can you guys see that? 
Let's see. I think you can a little bit. I don't want just one color. I just want kind of a variegated color. And um, let's see. I want to make sure I get the right lid on them. Yeah, this one goes here. So those, those three are going to go now. I don't think I like them anymore. Then I have this one right here that... Okay, i got to find the name so I don't look totally like an idiotic person. Okay, this is Old Silver. So now I know where the name is at. Um, hematite. Yep, and that was, that's exactly what that looks like, hematite. It's, uh, I wish it was just pewter. I think it would be something I would like better. But it's not quite that. Oh yeah, this one is going to bring... Sometimes when I use a dark color and go over with a light... It brings out the pattern, not just the pattern, uh, but um, if there is any, um, well, what do you call that on a paper, like um, some sort of a surface to it, or um, that's not the word I'm looking for. But, you know, if like the paper is engraved or anything like that, those patterns come up really nice. And between this, um, which is a old silver and platinum I've been able to really like them <laughs> you know their, their effects on a lot of our a lot of the projects that I make all right see all these ones I already gone over with some other darker colors and when you put that clearer or lighter into the whitish look it's um it comes out really nice for some reason and again, remember, you know, if you didn't, if you didn't like that, or that's not what you were, that's not the effect you were looking for, then clean it up. Just a damp paper, uh, damp, not a damp paper. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> is there any kids there? Sorry, I didn't mean to cuss there. Um, damped paper, not the other. <laughs> Anybody remember the movie of um, Chevy Chase when he was? Uh, you know, in traveling to, I think it was in Las Vegas or something, and he goes to, to the Roosevelt, uh, Roosevelt is it the Roosevelt uh, Dam? I can't remember. But anyways, that big old dam that we have between Arizona and, Las, and uh, Nevada. So he goes, I mean, I think I mean it's hilarious anyways. But, um, so he's in the crowd, and and he, uh, he says, I have a damn question for this damn guide. <laughs> so my husband and I, it's the biggest joke in the world. So sorry if anybody didn't find that funny, but I did. <laughs> All right, I'll behave, I promise. Something a little really hard for me, but I'll try. All right, so. Oh my God, I need to really behave. Um, joke aside and everything. Um, this is what I come up with, and I think I think I like it. Okay, so there you go. You can see this whole thing right there. All right, so my next step, and I might still go later on with some touch-ups on it. Oh, I have another one here. This is pure silver. Well, let's find out what this one does. Ooh, that's kind of nice. They kind of too close to the other one. All right, so let's uh, close that one and close this other one and move on. Oops. That's why they're dry because I sent me a flyer that says, Hey, you need to be nice to our products. I am nice. I love these products. All right, now they're closed correctly. Okay, so the other thing I wanted to do, I want this puppy to be metaled up. And when I say metaled up, I mean I want to use a lot of metals into it. And something that I've had for a long time and that I've used very sparingly, really. It's a lot of this uh, corner um, holders for books or pages or whatever you want. And I think they're beautiful. And um, I have a lot of them because they're through a company that uh, is called American Tag. I'm sure you all know it. And they're the ones that make this huge tool. Amazing, amazing tool. And it is called the Purple monster believe it or not well this machine 
does a lot of things. It's a, it doesn't just do, you know, punches your holes and then puts your grommets or your eyelets. No, that's just the least of it. It has a, a corner puncher, um, not a puncher, but um, to apply this one's to my corners. And I thought, you know, I have a lot of corners here, lots of corners. So I think it would look really cool. Now my decision is between do I use do I use black or do I use um, what is that that like an old um, it's not gold but it's like a what would you call that like brass well no because this would be brass let me show you this one would be brass and I, I'm not using that um, well, like an antique brass maybe that's what it is so let me show you how this puppy works I already put my little tool in there that is going to or my little bits that is going to press that and all I have to do once I, I notice that there's a little trick to him once I put them before I put them in it I kind of I kind of press them just a tiny bit because I notice that when you press them in to be in contact with the paper they kind of squash out a little so I kind of pre um, pre-press them a little bit with my hands just a tiny bit okay and that way it secures the whole thing and see and they still do they still do that so then there it is so you have to kind of work with them but look oops there's my I'm trying to work with this new camera there we go right there so let me press it one more time And I'm gonna go with some some sort of acrylic over it so it kind of stays. So isn't that pretty? So now I'll show you the black, and then you guys can uh, can let me know which one you like the best. Or I can do or I can do a collage of both. No, I'm not gonna do that. That would be ridiculous. Yeah, I don't think I would like the both of them. But let's look at both of them and let's make a decision. See, I think the black stands out really pretty. Black was my original. Oops, let me see if I can grab this. Black was my original color that I wanted because it kind of breaks everything else. But I don't know. What do you guys think? Oh, well, let's see. Well. I think I'm going to go with a black. That was my original thought. And I think I'm right on that. So I, I am going to go for that one, okay? Alright. So let me put all of them and I'll be right back. 